Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the video link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Moton. Today I'm talking to a colleague in Milano, Italy, Mario. Mario, everyone. Hi. So glad Hi. you could join me. So Mario, we're just going to shuffle the, the cards here and we'll find out what you and I are talking about. How's the weather in Milan today? It's uh, quite warm, sunny. Mm. A very warm uh, fall so far. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Mario, the first question, are you a sports fan? Well, yes, I am a uh, football sports fan, as most Italian are. Um, and, and what's your preferred team? Who do you root for? Inter. Uh, Milan the football team and uh, I'm very passionate about that and um, the passion that comes from my father and it's in my my kids so <laughs> we are very serious in Italy about football. Yes I'm familiar with the, the passion but that's nice yeah. you have a multi-generational fan base good for you. Yeah. All right Oh, Mario, have you ever cut your own hair? Myself? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. And and did it turn out okay or is it was it a, a grave mistake? Oh, no, no. I just uh, managed to do it myself and with the trial and errors and I, <laughs> I became quite uh, skilled. All right. <laughs> well, now I know who to go to. Should my, my coiffeur quit? Oh. <laughs> Mario, which oh. flavor of ice cream best represents your personality? Well, I don't know what best represents. I, I can tell you what's my favorite one, which is strawberry. But I can't make any sort of <laughs> links to my personality i don't know <laughs> right that's all right strawberry is a really good flavor i'll i'll, I'll agree with you on that okay <laughs> so mario the next card uh yeah. i think probably you can answer with some degree of authority you're italian what mm -hmm. is the best kind of pizza uh, the best kind of, uh, it's a very subjective matter i think because we have uh uh, different kinds of pizza or different um, uh, different uh, ways of cooking it in Italy. So there's a there's a pizza that is more popular in Naples and other kind of pizza in other parts of Italy. But I I really like the the uh, regular margherita pizza, which is the 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 most, I would say, um, simple and uh, tasty pizza ever, I think. It's a classic. Yes. Yeah, it's a classic. How it's do you feel, balance. by the way, about yeah. what's that? It's a perfect balance of, of, of pieces of, of ingredients. I think that you're right. Uh, Mario, how do you feel about crazy Americans who put pineapple on pizza? <laughs> Not only Americans, I, I know Germans do the same. Uh, I, I, ne I never tried that, but maybe the, the, there must be some point in it if somebody <laughs> does that. <laughs> it, in, in the United States, that's a very divisive topic. Yeah, well... <laughs> It's, it's 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 a bit hard, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> case, uh, it's just life, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. The next question, uh, also a bit divisive. Boy, you're getting some interesting cards today. Um, which way is the best way for your toilet paper roll to hang, with the <laughs> open edge coming out or the open edge going toward the wall? Oh, it's a, a tough call. <laughs> I, I would say any. Uh, I don't care about that. <laughs> you don't have a preference? No, no, I don't. That's a good, that's a good mediator's answer. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm flexible. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. The next card. What is something that was very common during your childhood that will seem very strange to your grandchildren? What was very common in my childhood that today it would, would, would seem strange to my grandchildren. Yeah. Well, I, I still don't have grandchildren, so I, I can talk about my kids. Uh, maybe uh, one thing that was very common was uh, maybe playing, uh, playing football in, in the streets, which is something that it's quite uncommon today because all the kids are uh, playing with tablets and smartphones so uh there's a lot of uh open air uh, uh games and activity that uh i see has been lost for for, for to some extent so that would what would seem quite strange to my uh my possible grandchildren to to play with a ball down in the street yeah, I think that's right. I think, you know, when I was a child, uh, all of the mothers would stand outside the houses and at the dinner hour, they would all, you know, call for their children, dinner, come home, dinner, come home. You, you, we were never in our house. We were always outside. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, yeah. I sense you had the same experience. Yeah, I think that's a really good answer. And, and I think that's unfortunate. That's, you know. Maybe progress, I'm not sure. All right. Uh, Mario, if someone narrated your life story, who would the narrator be? You mean a real person or a uh, uh, imaginary? You know, I, I suppose you could have a comic book character or a cartoon character narrate your story, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I would say a photographer, someone, someone that narrates my story with pictures, and uh, I'm, I'm quite a visual person, so I'd like to, to tell a story with, in, with pictures, with images, and I, and I like to learn story by images. So I think it would be a photographer. I absolutely love that answer. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Mario, if there is a zombie apocalypse, which three people would you want to have on your team? On my team to do what? To survive. To survive. Well, uh, maybe a, um, a helicopter pilot that would, that could uh, take me away, <laughs> or uh, uh, I don't know, someone that could help me defend myself. Um, uh, yeah, but maybe. Um, th there would be more than three people that I would love to have with me. So I, I, I can say, <laughs> I can make real names of people, but <laughs> that would be a very strong person that would help me to cope with this uh, zombie attacks. So a very well, uh, bold man right. or women. <laughs> I, I, I like the way you're going with it. Maybe have a a powerful soldier who can also fly your helicopter who could also provide medical care yeah yeah that yeah that's a good strategy that's a really good strategy <laughs> and, and mario i'll ask you the same question i ask all of my guests as the last question and that is what do you love most about the work you do in uh, the adr uh, industry uh the thing that I really love about my work 
is uh, connecting people and building bridges between people, which I think is the very core of our mediator's work. And, um, and that entails uh, the ability to be vulnerable and to be human, which is something that is not very easy to do. And mostly professionals are sometimes in trouble to be themselves, to be authentic, to be human, and to uh, uh, reveal themselves vulnerable. And uh, vulnerability, I think, it's the biggest power in uh, in managing disputes and uh, conflicts and helping people to sort out of conflicts because uh, you can give what they need to have and to put on the table, which is their vulnerability. So you can help that help them to be authentic, to be true and to be open uh, to, uh, to the other and uh, even expose themselves to their weaknesses and strengths. And so, I mean, connecting people is, is the, what, what I really like about my work and what every day uh, tells me that there's, there's a something magic in what we do. Yeah, I think you're right. What we do is, it is magic. Yeah, it is magic. Mario, thank you so much for joining me for an idle chat all the way from Milan, Italy. It was a great pleasure getting to know you a little bit. Same for me. Thank you, Natalie. My pleasure.